In this uh, video, you can see all the gray blues coming in, starting with my air color. I really vary my blues. This is what I want to get across to you, how all those variations of the gray blues, the lighter values, the darker values, the cooler grays, the warmer, the tones, the pink tones, it adds great variation to your cloud paintings. And you need to really practice this so that you do bring that beauty out that we we see out there so you can see all the variations quite clearly and then you can see where the touches of the pinks are down in parts of that lower area and uh, some over to the left i like to just dramatize some of those pinks in my clouds then here is that basic air color and the mixture of the white, the ultramarine blue, and the cat red light. You can get that uh, mixture off of my YouTube channel. I'll leave a link for you. And then these other blues, these gray blues, are mixed with some different blues. I use Severs Blue, uh, which is a Williamsburg. You can use Cerulean Blue, um, touches of cobalt, and then some complements to warm it up. And then also the cobalt blue will influence different areas. It'll be mixed with white, it'll mix into the air color. Uh, they all kind of work together. It's sort of a team effort with these gray blues. And then again, like I said, I do like to add the touches of the pinks and the warm colors which are down there in the bottom part of the cloud. All right, work on those skies. Get those gray blues mixed up. This was such a fun project. I'm going to share a short video here at the end for you to watch. I hope you enjoy it. Stay encouraged, my friend. Stay at the easel. High clouds drifting away, leaving those shadows on.